so let us do next uh, question based on your average rate of a reaction so let us read this question <clears throat> from the concentration of butyl chloride they've given us butyl chloride here at different time times right they've given two things so one is the concentration term which they've given us this is your molar concentration and they've given us time right so this is the time interval at the different time intervals how much is the concentration so calculate the average rate of a reaction for this particular this is what is given to us we are supposed to calculate the average rate now simple when this data is given to you first important thing is you are going to pick up or make a tableau column right so first one tableau column second one third fourth and the average right so let me divide this and make the columns the first column i am going to write this for the first concentration right so this particular c4 h9 cl so c4 h9 cl concentration because i have to take the change in concentration of the reactants isn't it so again c4 h9 cl concentration <coughs> Now let me take this concentration as uh, the first concentration. Let me take it as one, and this is your second concentration. Means change in concentration, delta and delta. Now this is your T one, this is your T two, and this is your average rate. Right? Simple. Now, for calculating the average rate of such particular reaction, we have a formula. Let us write that formula. It is equal to now. Delta. Delta means the final concentration of the reactant minus the initial concentration. So let me write delta concentration of the reactant. That is your C four H nine Cl butyl chloride divided by delta T. That is change in time. This fifty minus zero, hundred minus zero, change in time into ten raised to the four. Right, so <clears throat> you'll be getting uh, the answer. In that that answer, you we 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 already written the concentration terms. It is written as moles per liter, and your second inverse. Correct. That means it is moles liter inverse second inverse. Right. You multiplied this after multiplying with ten raised to the four. The most important thing: reaction decrease. That is important. Let us write now. And this is the data which is given to us. Now zero is the initial thing. So fill this with zero. Your time, the second one. Uh, you are comparing between this time interval. Then you will compare between this time interval. Then you will compare between this time interval. Second one, fifty. Right now for zero, what is the concentration? For fifty, how much is the concentration? Correct. Now, like that, you will be sorting out everything. Let me write for the second thing also. Now, for the second, now I am going to compare between this time interval and this time interval. For the second time, this becomes T one, this becomes T two. So this becomes fifty, this becomes hundred. So fifty, how much is the concentration? Four hundred. Right. Simple. So this is how we are going to do. Now, this is your higher value. This is your That's so, all. Average I have to take out. So substitute this value. How much do I get? Zero point minus of. Observe carefully. Minus of because reactants. Yes. Now zero point zero nine zero five minus point one zero zero divided by fifty minus zero is fifty into ten raised to the four. Remember that. Yeah, so you want to solve this higher minus lower, higher minus lower, higher minus lower, higher minus lower. Right? Once you solve this, you will get an answer. Multiply with ten to the power of four. Remember that, and you will get an answer <coughs> of uh, minus one point nine. You again have this one. So finally, you get plus one point nine, and this one you get around one point eight. So the concept is, you're going to divide the higher value minus lower value divided by the time interval into this, and finally write the value units moles per liter per second. This is how you're going to calculate for everything, and just write the average values and leave it.